Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to introduce you to Google Keep. If you're not familiar with Google Keep, it's basically an online place to take post-it note type notes. Uh, however, they can be shared because it is a web-based platform, so you can find them uh, by accessing Google Keep on any device. You can also sync your notes to a mobile device, whether it's iOS or Android, uh, by using an app, so that's pretty awesome. So how do we get to Google Keep? Well, there's a few different ways that we can get there. Uh, here I am on a Chromebook, and the first way is from the waffle. I can click on the waffle and find my Keep icon, knowing I may have to scroll up or down to find that button. On a Chromebook, in the bottom left-hand corner is the launcher, and I can click the launcher, and if I need to, pull up this area, and again, scroll to find, there it is, Google Keep. Awesome. Uh, the a third way to do it is in a new tab to visit the website keep.google.com, and that will take me to Google Keep. Awesome. Once I'm here, I can create a new note up at the top here simply by clicking on this space, and I can put my title in, and I can add the note itself. So I could say, like, groceries and I can have all my items in there. So yes, this is an awesome way to help yourself stay organized. When I look across the bottom of this bar, there's a few icons. The first is a reminder that will remind me at a certain time to do something through a push notification. Uh, I can collaborate, which means I can share this with other Google users, which is an awesome way to keep track of a team and help them stay organized. I just do that by entering in the email address. Uh, this little padlet, uh, or palette icon is I can change the background color of the note. Here I can insert an image uh, into the note itself if I wanted to keep track of something. Archiving it is a way of moving it to kind of the back of the images so it's not here in the front view, uh, but it's not deleted either. Under this more, you can see I can delete the note. Uh, I can add a label to the note, which helps it stay organized. I can add a drawing. We'll see more on that one in a later video. Uh, I can make a copy of the note. I can show checkboxes, which allow me to tick it off. Uh, and I can copy this to Google Docs, which is a really neat feature we're going to look at in another video. Uh, finally, there's this pin option, which as you can see, this note here is pinned. So we're, normally your notes are organized so the newest ones are on the top, but when I pin them, those go to the top. So that is a nice feature as well. On the left-hand side, there's these three little lines that when I click those, I can see my notes versus my reminders. Any labels where I can see my uh, keep notes that were organized into a label. I can look at the archived and I can see the trash uh, notes that have been trashed, which I can then delete forever if that's the option you want to go. On the top here, the main icon I'd like to show is this list view versus a tile view. So in a, tile, or a stream view, all the notes are in just one single column, whereas in, whereas in a t grid view, or I like to say tile view, uh, it takes up the space that the note needs. So just a little bit different way of viewing it. But there you go. That's a brief introduction to Google Keep. In some following videos, we're going to look at some more in-depth features or look at some features in a more in-depth nature. Um, but if you have any questions on Google Keep or anything else EdTech related, please feel free to email me at rbray at btboces.org. Also, please feel free to subscribe to this channel to receive updates when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you for watching.